Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Sneed. And today we are reading the second half of the book, Rabbits and Hares. Yesterday, we read the first half of the book, and we learned about how rabbits and hares are the same. Let's think. How are they the same? What did we learn yesterday? Well, I know that you went into Schoology and you told me how they're the same by typing into the comment box below the discussion. Today, we are going to read about how rabbits and hares are different. So let's begin. Size and shape. Size is one way to tell rabbits and hares apart. Hares are bigger than rabbits. A hare can weigh up to 15 pounds and they can be up to two feet long. Most rabbits are small. Most wild rabbits weigh between one and four pounds. The smallest rabbit is called a pygmy rabbit. It weighs less than one pound and is only nine to 11 inches long. Some people breed rabbits to keep as pets. These rabbits can be much bigger than wild rabbits. A Flemish giant rabbit can weigh over 20 pounds and can be up to 32 inches long. Wow. Another way to tell hares and rabbits apart is the shape of their bodies. Both hares and rabbits have long legs. However, a hare's legs are a lot longer than a rabbit's. Those long legs mean that hares are really good jumpers. Hares and rabbits jump by bringing their long back legs up to their front legs, and then they push forward with their back legs. A hare can jump up to 20 feet in a single move. Boys and girls, that's bigger, that's as big as a car. Uh, both hares and rabbits also have long ears that stick up. A hare's ears are longer than a rabbit's. A hare often has black or dark fur on the tips of its ears as well. And so, boys and girls, I'm thinking that I'm going to see what information I can get from our photographs on this page. I've already learned that hares and rabbits have different kinds of ears, that hares have longer ears with dark tips, and rabbits have shorter ears, and they do not have dark tips. So I'm looking at my pictures, and I see here is a hare, and here is a rabbit, and I can really see how their ears are different. Staying safe. Those long legs and ears help rabbits and hares stay safe. Many predators like to eat rabbits and hares. Boys and girls, a predator is an animal that eats other animals. Uh, these predators include foxes, weasels, badgers, coyotes, wolves, bobcats, raccoons, hawks, and snakes. Sometimes domestic cats and dogs kill rabbits. A rabbit or hare's long ears help them hear if a predator is coming. A rabbit or hare will sit very still with its ears sticking straight up. If the animal hears a scary sound, it quickly runs away. A rabbit or hare has ears that are shaped like cups. This shape helps capture sounds and gives these animals very good hearing. So boys and girls, I'm looking at the pictures and I can see this rabbit's ears are sticking straight up, probably listening for predators. And I also see sort of a silly illustration. Uh, it's a drawing of a fox with binoculars and it's an illustration and this would not be informational because foxes do not use binoculars. Oh. When a rabbit or hare hears something scary, it's time to run away. A hare can jump far with its long black legs. 
long back legs, hares can also move very fast. A hare can jump away at 40 miles an hour. Wow, that's as fast as a car driving on the highway. Rabbits are fast too. A rabbit cannot jump as far as a hare, but it kicks its back legs off the ground as it runs. This kick helps a rabbit run fast and cover a lot of ground in one leap. Rabbits also change directions as they run. They swerve left and right. These quick movements make it hard for a predator to catch them. So boys and girls, I'm thinking that a hare can run faster than a rabbit, but a rabbit can swerve, which means to turn left and right to try to lose the animal that's chasing it. And I also want to draw attention to this very cute picture. This is a Siamese rabbit running across a meadow. That is very, very cute. Here is a jackrabbit, which is a type of hare running through a field. And you, and you know why I know this, this is a hare, boys and girls? Look at those ears. They have black tips. All right. Okay, boys and girls. So this is the end of our informational text. Um, we have learned lots of ways that rabbits and hares are different today. Um, today, you are going to go into Schoology and you are going to answer the daily question, uh, how are rabbits and hares different? And when I see you in class tomorrow, we're going to work with a Venn diagram and we are going to show how rabbits and hares are different. And you guys are going to help me build that graphic organizer. It was fun reading to you, boys and girls. I can't wait to see you in class. Have a good day.